So uh, this question is on constructing angles and let's jump straight in here with this first part then which says to uh, construct a 90 degree angle at the point Z on the line below. So here is point Z and we're told we can use a ruler and a pair of compasses which is quite good because that's exactly what we need. So uh, the first thing then is to take our compass and I have been blessed with the lovely pink compass. Here it is. And the first thing we want to do is we want to put the point on our point Z like this and then it doesn't matter how big the uh, the compass is, so long as we don't let it change size. So I'm going to make a mark over on this side, and a mark this side. I'm just going to move my hand in a minute so you can see what I've done. There we go. So you can see I've now got two arcs there. Didn't let the compass change size, either side of the point Z. Okay, now I'm going to uh, open up the compass so it's a bit bigger this time. So now it's bigger than the distance to Z, like that. Then I want to put the point where the arc crosses the line. Here we go. And then I'm going to make another arc above Z, just like that. Then flip it over. Do the same for the other side, like this. And there we go. So now I've got a cross there where two arcs cross. So now what I can do is I can take my ruler, which again is a beautiful shade of pink, and uh, place it down so that my cross lines up with the point Z and then I just need to draw the line in. And there we go. So the angle in here, just going to illustrate this with a little right handed right hand angle like that. This is 90 degrees. So there we go, there's the first part. Don't forget to leave these arcs in. These are your method marks. This is where you get your extra mark from for getting that answer. Okay, I'm going to slide this up then. Let's have a look at part B. So now we are asked to construct the bisector of angle K. Now we're not told how big angle K is, but quite frankly, it doesn't matter. We don't care. We just want to chop it in half. So put a line through it like this. So again, I'm going to go and bring in the compass. Set it to a nice distance. And then I need to put the point on point K like this. I need to draw an arc that goes across this line. And then one for the other line as well. There we go. So you can see I've got two arcs there. Again, I didn't let it change size when I did those two. Now I can uh, put the point down where that arc crosses the line. So like this. And draw another arc. There we are. And do the same from this one. Just one more. Again, I didn't let it change size. That's important. And so now I've got this cross Again, so I can just line up using my ruler the uh, the corner of the angle here with the where the two arcs cross one another, and this will draw the angle bisector. So there we go, uh, and that's our angle bisector. Now again, don't forget to uh, leave in these arcs. These are your working out. This is where you get your extra mark from, and that, my friends, is all there is to it.